This is a follow up to my previous combination lock video which has gained over 8 million views and 100,000 likes. And although that sounds awesome, a lot of you had problems with the video, saying the music was too loud and that I didn't do a voiceover explaining each step. So this video aims to remedy those two problems, but just be mindful that without background music, we're gonna hear a lot of ambient background noise including a dog barking, cars going past and my refrigerator running. So if you like these lock videos and lock picking videos, be sure to check out this video where I show you a cross section of a lock and explain each part and what it does. You can find a link to this video in the card above or in the first comment below. So before I get started showing you how to crack this combination lock, there's a couple of things we've got to remember. The first thing is that your lock and my lock are completely different. The tolerances between each moving part are completely unique. So your lock and my lock will react differently to this method. So the second and most important thing is that this video is not intended to make you a better thief. The entire intention is to show you just how bad these combination locks really are and just how easy it is to crack the combination. So if you have a lock like this or something similar, I suggest you get rid of it immediately. So now that we have that out the way, let's get started and crack this combination lock. I'll be doing this without background music, so apologies for the heavy breathing and ambient sounds. The first thing to do is get your combination lock. So find something stable to hook your lock onto. I'm using a door handle, but you can use whatever you want. Now because I don't remember the combination to this lock, I'm going to crack it in a few seconds and I'll demonstrate how to do this afterwards. So now that my lock is unlocked, let's change the combination to something we all know. I'm doing this to show you exactly how the lock reacts when you move the wheel to the correct digit. So now that we have a combination that we all know, let's lock this lock back up and I'll show you exactly what to look for. So once you've hooked your lock onto something sturdy, you want to pull the body down, which is this brass part right here. You want to pull the body away from the shackle in a downward motion. You can do this in any grip form you want to. I'm using this push down method. You can use anything you want. So once you have the body being pushed down, you want to start from the bottom wheel and turn in an anti-clockwise motion. You'll notice that the wheel clicks with each turn. This is exactly what you want to pay attention to. You want to find the sound variation between the clicks and you also want to feel the body of the lock move down significantly. Like I've mentioned previously, each lock is completely different. So if you land on a particular number and you feel the body of the lock move down, just move the wheel one digit forward and one digit back just to make sure you landed on the right number. I'm pretty familiar with the feel of this lock so if the body doesn't move down enough, I know I'm on the wrong number and I have to move one digit forward or one digit backward to find the right number. To make things easier, I'll be using this red cross to indicate the clicks you can ignore and this green tick to indicate the clicks you need to pay attention to. Whenever you see the green tick, that means we landed on the correct digit. This will make it easier to compare the sound variations between a correct digit and an incorrect digit. When we get to the last wheel, there's no need to put any pressure on the lock anymore. We're just going to do trial and error and go to each digit until the lock opens. So now, I'm going to attempt to change the combination of the lock without looking. I'm going to use my hand to cover the lock and turn the wheels.
you probably would have noticed the sound variations by now. If you turn the wheel to an incorrect digit, the click is much quieter than when you turn the wheel to a correct digit, which is much, much louder. If all your clicks sound the same, it just means you're not putting enough downward pressure on the lock. So take a listen to this and see if you can figure out if the numbers are correct. I hope this video was really helpful for you and explained things a bit better than the previous video. You can still watch the old video by clicking the card above or find the link to the video in the first comment below. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and help me reach 100,000 subscribers in this month. I'll see you in the next video.